What is going on everybody? Captain Johnny Stabile coming at you for another video today. In this video, I'm doing something a little different than what my normal routine is. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to tie the Bangkok hooker twist. It has easily become my new favorite knot um, for any straight braid application. Let's dive into the video. So the first thing that we need to do for our knot here is we need to tie a simple spider hitch. And if you guys don't know how to do one, I'll show you quickly. Um, you just need to take your doubled over line, make a loop like so, make it a little bit, there we go, make a loop. And then you're going to take your remaining line and you're gonna go over your index finger four times. So it's two, three, Four. Now you've got a the little loop that we originally made and you're going to take your bigger loop and stick it into the little loop and let me do that again for you. We're just going to put it through and pull tight. Now I'm just going to slowly, and I'm pinching at my, I don't know if you guys can see that, I'm pinching my thumb and my index finger to hold those wraps there and I'm just gonna slowly pull those wraps off my thumb and you'll see them start to form the base knot. That was actually five wraps that I did, but it doesn't matter. And uh, we're just gonna start to pull this kind of tight and uh, eventually it will look something like Let's see pull tight. You really got to pull evenly on all four corners and it, it it's not a, uh, a really pretty knot but it is a super strong knot. Okay there's our spider hitch there. I hope you guys can see that well. We're gonna cut the tag end off of our spider hitch and now this is where the Bangkok hooker twist comes into play. So I'm in a pinch the spider hitch that we just tied and I'm gonna take my four fingers and put them through the big loop that we have now and I'm just gonna do these wraps like this and you're gonna wrap depending on the size of or the length of your uh, loop that you just made you're gonna make anywhere from I don't know 80 to 150 wraps so I'm just gonna just keep twisting this and it's important you gotta keep this really tight while you're doing this just keep keep twisting it up there and eventually what's going to happen is we'll have to you know get down to a small loop around our fingers here okay i'm going to just choke up on it a little bit you can do that i'm going to go down to three fingers now because the, the loop is getting smaller maintaining that pressure even when you don't maintain the pressure sometimes it will unravel or start to double over on itself, going down to two fingers. And last but not least, going down to one last finger there. And you want it to be really tight on your one finger there. So your your finger should look like mine. It should basically be almost bulging at the end. And I'm just gonna kinda twist it off of my finger there. And we got our wraps. Don't let go of the spider hitch at all because you don't want this, all these loops and wraps to, you know, twist up your main line. Now I'm just going to bring the two together and you'll see it'll naturally start to twist like so. And we've got our spider hitch right here and the end of our loops that we just did or our twist that we just did right here. Now I'm going to hold these two together and do a very simple overhand knot. Pull that nice and tight make sure it's all nice and even and it should look like the finished product we're going to do our overhand knot very simple and i i like to make sure that i choke up as much as i can of the excess line to as close as to the spider hitch as i can get it so it might be tough to see for the purpose of the video but when you do tie this on your own you want to make sure that you're as close to that spider hitch as you can I prefer my knot to be as long as I can get it there we go and you're just gonna pull tight on that pull tight on the 
Little tag end. Okay, and there's our finished product. Let me cut this, uh, the, the final tag end off. Got some good braid scissors there. There we go. And now we took our 50 pound braid that we had and quadrupled it, making this basically 200 pound. Um, this knot works great on, so this frog has a Kevlar eye on the front there, and you basically just tie it on like a luggage tag. I can show you how to tie the same thing on with a metal eye. Now a lot of people have told me that they, and I used to also prefer this method of tying a fluorocarbon leader with a loop knot there to, you know, give it a more free action, but I really don't think it's necessary. Um, I, I've used this knot with this lure extensively. This is just a, a walking plug. Um, it is the Rebel Jumping Minnow, one of my favorite walking baits, if you will. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna put our the end of our Bangkok hooker twist through the eye. We're gonna open it up a little bit, so you gotta untwist it a little bit. This might be tough to see. And then you got a little loop that you just made. You're gonna send your lure through. This is just like putting on a luggage tag, if you've ever put on a luggage tag. All right, we're gonna pull tight. And as you guys can see, when you pull tight there, it's good, sometimes you gotta figure all the twisties out. You want the twisties to be nice and even there. And, uh, and that is the finished product. So it works good on a metal eyelet, works good on the Kevlar eyelet there. And, uh, and I mean, th this knot is amazing. I've used a lot less fluorocarbon using something like this. I've used it from anything for, for, from jerk baits to topwater frogs in super heavy cover. This is what you want. If you're snakehead fishing in Florida or if you're bass fishing anywhere in the world, this is the knot you want if you're fishing heavy cover or really any kind of top water or even subsurface baits that you do not require a fluorocarbon or monofilament leader for. Well folks, that's gonna do it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to tie the Bangkok hooker twist knot. Uh, like I said earlier, it has easily become my favorite knot for any straight braid application that I have. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments if you like these tutorials and you want me to do more knot tying and maybe some rod rigging or, you know, I don't know, be creative. If you have an idea in the comments that you'd like to see me do and if you do like to see these type of videos, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like the video before I let you go. It helps me grow and we'll see you guys in that next video. Thank you so much for watching.